Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life Mundane and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing another book outlet unboxing. I have three boxes of books here that I want to unbox for you guys. Be sure to check out the link down in the description if you guys are new to book outlets. There's some videos that will help you navigate the site as well as a coupon code off your first purchase. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. All right, in this first box, we have some Critter Club books. My daughter has really been enjoying the Sophie Mouse and the Critter Club books. She's been going through them. She'll read about a book a day, um, but she'll go back and she'll reread them. So I don't mind purchasing them for her. And on Book Outlet, they have them for like $2 or less. So I got her the Critter Club, Liz's Night at the Museum, Marion and the Girls Getaway. It looks like it's a ski adventure. And then this was a great deal. It is three Critter Club books in one, so it's quite thick. It's Amy and the Missing Puppy, all about Ellie, and Liz Learns a Lesson. So all together, five books for just a couple of bucks, and hopefully it'll last for at least a week. Next up is a new series that we are going to be utilizing, and I got this series from Rachel over at 7 and All. It is the Math Start series, and Book Outlet has a ton of their books on sale. Again, very, very inexpensively. So these are fun picture books that will take your children through different math concepts. What's fun about these books is in the corner, you will be able to see what math concept is covered for this particular book. This one is equivalent values. So in the back is a section for adults and kids that gives you further learning opportunities. So it talks a little bit more about comparative value, what that means, how one item can equal the same as multiple other items, and then gives you other ways to bring that story to life to your child. So you can just read this, but you can also take it a step further and make it a very interactive math lesson for your child. For example, apparently this one's all about a little boy and his trading cards, and he's trading different dinosaurs of different values. You. So they actually have a game and a suggestion where you would cut out different um, trading cards out of construction paper and help your child as you go back through and read it, have them kind of act it out so they can get that hands-on experience with the math lesson. Ah, this is another one that we grabbed for my kiddos. This is super simple cartooning for kids. It talks about how to make sure cartoons express emotion, how different hand motions can signify different things. It teaches the kids how to incorporate different items, like on different animals, breaking those stereotypes, and how within cartoons you can have fun. Like here, they made a chicken with spiky hair. Also, how different symbols mean different things within comic books. There's a mixture of drawing instruction on how to make certain characters, as well as certain character concepts that I know my kids will have fun with. Here are a few more books in that Math Start series. This one is on estimating, it's called Betcha. And they can say, how many people are on the bus? Well, if there's about four people and approximately 10 rows, that equals 40, plus a few more standing up. So I just love the fact that it really helps bring these, these concepts alive to kids and in a way that's so interactive. This one is all about comparing size, the best bug parade. This is gonna be great for my kindergartner and my preschooler, talking about small, smaller, and small less. And again, each and every one of the books has that section in the back that helps you take that learning a little further. Here is Same Old Horse. This is all about making mathematical predictions. And we also have more of the third grade detective books. If you guys remember in the past, I've mentioned that Sunlight had these third grade detective books on their Sunlight reading list. My daughter, I got a few of them. She fell in love with this series and has really, really enjoyed it. She's read several of them and asked me for the other ones in the series. So I got three more. We have the third grade detectives and the riddle of the stolen sand, the third grade detectives and the cobweb confession. I was really surprised she picked out this one because she has a serious fear of spiders but she told me she's like mom I know they're not real it's just in the story so it's okay I guess and the third grade detectives the secret of the wooden witnesses these are great chapter books for your beginning readers they're short and they're sweet they have a lot of text but they do have a picture I think it's one picture per chapter so and they're really easy to consume for your child and very engaging for them all right this is another series that I really love that you guys have seen here before these are the let's read and find out science series this is a really great thing to utilize especially for that preschool kindergarten age for science this is what happens to our trash so this is going to take them through the whole process from beginning to end about recycling centers about what happens to things like paint what happens in landfills 
how we can recycle, how we can compost, how things are turned into building materials or how they're compacted. And this series always has at the end some kind of interactive thing. It's written a little bit different than the Math Start series, but here this is more about how to make your own compost pile, but they'll have some kind of hands-on science activity you can do. We don't always utilize those, but I like having those options there. Here's another one in the Let's Read and Find Out. They have different levels, so um, there's levels one, two, and three. If they don't say at the top corner, you can also find it on the back. So this is level two, sunshine makes the season. So this one's gonna be all about the seasons. And again, hands-on ex experiments that you guys can use with your kiddos to help them understand these beginning concepts in science. This one is my hands. This is a stage one book from that series. This was actually assigned in the purely preschool units and we're gonna be utilizing it in our upcoming homeschool co-op this fall. So I'm really excited to be able to utilize that with the kiddos again. Here is another math start book. This one is number order, one, two, three, sassafras. So this one looks like a really fun one to go through with the kids talking about their different number orders, what's the larger number, what's the smaller number, what comes first, what comes last. Here is Just Enough Carrots, another math start book, comparing amounts. Also, there's a great guide on the back that shares with you guys the levels for the math start books. Level one is for ages four and up, level two is for ages six and up, and level three is for ages seven and up. And in the corner, you can see the level one book or whatever level it is. All right, more of my science books that I love. The moon seems to change. Talking about the different phases of the moon and what that means, what they look like. Sounds all around. Love the fact that they have all different cultures represented as they explain how sounds are made and the different sounds we hear. I highly recommend if you have a wide range of kids, like we use the Apologia Science um, for our older kids, but there are a lot of these books that correlate with the different levels of Apologia Science. And so I love having these. So when we hit a topic like this, that's introduced within our science lesson, we read it all together regardless of the ages, but having something where you can dig a little bit deeper on one specific topic that was brought up in the lesson at their level is really a fun thing to do to incorporate a little extra learning in your school day. Another math start counting level one. This is basic counting, everybody counts. I tried to get a lot of the level one, level two books because I have preschoolers. Um, I can count up all my buddies and I'm happy, cheery, glad. Um, I count my aunts and uncles who visit in their cars. There are seven. Another science book, Let's Read and Find Out from Seeds to Pumpkins, the whole process of growing. This will be a really fun one to utilize this summer and even into the fall as we start talking more about pumpkins and getting to see that life cycle. All right, Math Start Level 1, this is Recognizing Shapes. Again, great beginning skills. They take you through a whole circus of shapes and all the different kinds of shapes you can see at a circus. Because we live in Kansas, I thought this one would be appropriate. This is Tornado Alert. <laughs> this is all about how tornadoes work and the different facts that you need to know about tornadoes. And this one was actually featured on Reading Rainbow, so that's really fun. And it also talks about safety with tornadoes, which since we actually have tornadoes in our town, I really like that. It talks about tornado rules, don't panic, listen, look, follow directions. Here is a level two a math start book on regrouping, and this is a fair bear share. So you can see there's just a little bit more text in the level two. All right, this is another one of our science books. The sun are, is our nearest star, excuse me, I can't talk today, our nearest star, and we get to talk about the distance. So like I said, so many of these good ones going with astronomy that you could incorporate with your additional science curriculum. And finally, we've got our math start book on adding animals on board. This one, again, is a level two, so again, a little more text, and it's just beginning addition facts. So I really, really highly recommend all of these series. It's funny because this time, other than the comic book drawing book, all of the other ones were parts of series that we have really been enjoying. I love finding a good series that you can just kind of expound on further. And having these science books, having these math books are really great ways to bring love of learning to life for your children. And then of course, having great chapter books that your kids enjoy and consume is always something that I really find joy in. And when you can find them for so cheap on Book Outlet, why not? I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to stick around because we have a lot more great content coming up and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.